I'm glad to be here and uh, glad to be able to share as well. I, uh, so I, I, I just wanted to read the first two verses again from 1 Corinthians 2. And it says, when I came to you, brothers, I did not come with elegance or superior wisdom as I proclaimed you the testimony about God. For I am resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. This has been my message throughout the world. This has been my passion throughout the world. And, and uh, I just feel so privileged as, as, as being a part of home church. And, and I just, I would have never imagined uh, like an original commitment of one year to Chile now being 46 years uh, we left the day after our first wedding anniversary. Our first wedding anniversary was literally packing our bags to get on the plane the next day. That's how we celebrated our first wedding anniversary. But you know, the Old Testament talks about not going into battle the first year. And so we waited one day after our first anniversary to go into battle and uh, begin pro uh, proclaiming the word. But if somebody would have said to me back uh, then, Jeff, uh, you will be found working among Jews and about Muslims and will have known 40 different countries, I literally would have said, you know, there's a lot of Jeff Phillipses out there. I've, I've Googled the name Jeff Phillips. You must have another Jeff Phillips. Uh, uh, he's a skater. He's a country singer and a male stripper as well. So it might have been one of them uh, <laughs> that came, came up in the, uh, of the Jeff Phillips. I would have never imagined to be where I am today. And uh, as, I, as I look at another verse that, that Jesus said in John 12, 3, he said, if I will be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And that I think is one of the most important things that we can do. G Paul, again, talked about Jesus crucified. Jesus himself said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And so as I've <laughs> Uh, many of you know my, my prayer walks and, and what that means to me, but I was thinking about this whole, whole thing about what we experience as people and about the testimonies that we have. And, and, and one day I was literally walking with a Jewish friend on one side and a Catholic friend on the other side. And my Jewish friend, He's special. He just has a special temperament. He loves to go after me. And so he goes, hey, Jeff, I just want you to know I have a direct line with the father. I can just go right to him, not like the rest of you. I said, oh, wow, that's, that's really something. You know what I have? I have someone who sits at the right hand of the father and declares my innocence. And he looked at me, and the Catholic person, Patricia, on the other side, I, I could not believe this. She asked me, who's that? And I went, oh, my. <laughs> I went, really? I said, it's Jesus Christ, the crucified, who rose from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father and declares my innocence. And I go, so David, that's my Jewish friend, good, good Jewish name, David. Uh, I said, so you're going to need to respond for your life. And how do, you, how do you feel about that? And he got real quiet. And I go, I just love that the crucified Christ who rose from the dead declares my innocence and i would re much rather be in my position than yours and so that that opportunity to preach christ crucified uh is is an amazing thing and 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 about a month later i'm i'm driving down the road and david pulls up and it's it's near it's near easter 
And many Jewish people truly believe that we've never read the Old Testament. He has said that to me multiple times that he goes, what are you listening to? I said, oh, I'm praying and listening to the Psalms and praying Psalms over the community. He goes, you know what? You know, at Easter, you know, he goes, we used, as Jews here in Chile, we used to have to kind of hide celebrating the Passover uh, because Chilean Catholics thought we were, we were like celebrating the death of Jesus, like we were happy that we took him out. And so I, and so he explained to me the whole Passover, like I had no no clue, you know, which is very interesting, you know, and so I just patiently listened, you know, and then I said, you know, we're coming upon, you know, also our celebration of the death and the celebration. And he again explained to me about, about the lamb and the blood over the, over the doorways. And I, I said to him, David, you do realize that Jesus is the Passover lamb, the final one. And he just froze. And he, he, he just didn't know what to say. And all of a sudden, he kind of like came out of it and said, I better go before you convert me. But, but again, as we lift up Jesus, as we proclaim Jesus, if he be lifted up, we will draw all men unto us. And so that has been my passion as I move among, among Muslims in, in Kurdistan, as I move along the tribes in, in Sierra Leone, eh, Sierra Leone in English. Uh, it's, it's my passion to proclaim Jesus crucified, but that he be, be lifted up. And so as I, as I, was, as I was thinking about this today, those of you who know me, Um, I have it very clear who I am. I'm not, I'm not a heavy theologian. I'm not a man that has been, been recognized as a tremendous, profound teacher. But I know who Jesus is. And I want people to say about me, as they said to the er early disciples, these are not educated men, but they have been with Jesus. And that's what I want people to say about me and about our movement. These people have been with Jesus. I'm not against Greek. I'm not against Hebrew. I've studied those things. But I'd much rather be known as the person that has walked with Jesus. And, and as I thought about today again, I thought about the time where Jesus healed the, the blind man. And they just kept questioning him. And they kept questioning it. And the final time he's called in, he's asked and, and he is told, this Jesus is a no good. This, he is a sinner. He heals on the Sabbath. He does not obey the rules. And the end, the blind man finally says, you know, I don't know if he's a good man or a bad man. What I do know is I was blind. And now I see. And I think that's the most important message that we can have, that we lift Jesus above all names and that our lives are li living testimonies of transformation because that's the power of the resurrection and that we walk along with him in those, in those ways. And, and nobody can argue about a transformed life. You can argue theology, you can argue doctrine, but you can't argue the transformation of a life in Jesus Christ. And so it's my duty and it's my honor to raise him up eh, above all names and that he draw men unto him. And that one, 
takes an incredible pressure off of me because he is more than capable with being proclaimed to draw all men unto him. And so I just had that brief thought for you all. Hey, may Jesus be proclaimed in every nation. I look over, I look over the all these windows, and you are all over the world. Praise God. And may you lift him up. And it may not be with heavy arguments, as it said, and superior wisdom, as it says in Corinthians, but be resolved to preach Christ and him crucified above all things. So thank you. God bless you for the opportunity to share. Shalom.